We're here with David Nickelberry in Colorado Springs at the under-18 USA basketball training camp. David, how is uh, Colorado treating you so far? Uh, pretty good. Uh, just have to adjust to the elevation levels and stuff like that. It was kind of messing me up at first, but everything is pretty good right now. This is your first uh, USA basketball invite. How did that come together, and uh, what was your reaction when you when you got the invite? Um, I think it was my AU coach. He set it up for me. Um, BJ ended up inviting me and stuff like that. And as soon as I got the news, I was just like stunned. Uh, it's my dream to come here and stuff like that to represent my country. What do you attribute that to? That you know not being invited the last two years but now getting it what what changed um definitely my point uh, my mindset and stuff like that um i love basketball it's always been a part of me but i wasn't really like i, I never thought i was gonna get invited to stuff like this or go to pangos like big uh camps like that but uh i really started getting a gym and being a gym rat and so that just came along when this usa invite came along i was just stunned was it a matter of you growing or becoming more athletic or improving your skill level, or was it just exposure? Is it more people got to be becoming aware of you, or are you just you just getting better? Uh, definitely just getting better. Uh, I improved a lot over the past two years with my jump shot, my ability to attack the rim, my athleticism. Um, definitely my strength and uh, conditioning coach up in Orlando, Winnemere. He's one of the best strength and conditioning coaches I've ever been a part of. And he just works us a ton, so he helped me a lot. We saw you out here really distributing the ball, making other guys better, finding guys. You don't normally see players your size playing like that. Where does that come from for you? Has that always been the kind of player you've been? Uh, most definitely. Uh, my main thing is to distribute the ball and get my teammates involved. Um, that's always been my strong suit past three years. Um, definitely like a Magic Johnson type. I love flashy passes, but um, uh, I can fit those uh, the balls right in the tight holes and stuff like that. So it's, it's great. How does that fit in at the high school level? Because you're you're tall enough almost to play inside against most of the guys your age, but you have that passing ability to kind of operate like a guard. How does that how does that come together in high school? Um, in high school, I play one through five, but uh, my coach mostly puts me at one because I can, the way I see the court, uh, he tells me every day, some people don't see what you see on the court. So sometimes I'll throw a ball and the player won't see it and it's always wide open. But uh, sometimes I'll get frustrated if my teammate doesn't like get it or score or whatever. But I have to understand that he doesn't see what I'm seeing on the court. So um, it's definitely that uh, playing, playing one is probably uh, my favorite right now, definitely at high school level, just because of my distributing. Do you think it's realistic to be able to continue to play um, as a point guard at the college level and beyond? Uh, most definitely. Um, right now, my uh, my coaches and all my trainers right now are trying to transition me into a one. And right now, it's been pretty well to me. Um, but I think I can st stick with the one position all the way through. What about your jump shot? How uh, how would you rate yourself as an outside shooter? Um, still improving, but uh, definitely improved over the past two years. Uh, I can shoot beyond the arc, uh, mid range, all of that. Uh, I haven't really shown it, but I'll, I'll show it tomorrow, definitely. Any goals that you have for yourself for your basketball career? Um, definitely uh, go to college. Play two years, one year. My dreams are one year, one and done. Um, be one of the best players at my college. Go to NBA and be successful. To do that, do you need to go to a really big school? Do you think you'll be able to find a school that will let you play with the ball at your size? Or are you thinking of maybe like a notch below or maybe you can kind of be like a more high-profile guy from the, from the start? I, I don't know anything about your recruiting, so I'm just kind of wondering. Um, Right now, my, my recruiting really took off, but um, at any school, honestly, I know for a fact it can be successful and just um, dominate the game there. Are there any guys that you enjoy watching at the college level or, or the NBA? Uh, definitely Buddy Heald. Uh, he's an unbelievable shooter, unbelievable player. Um, mainly him. I uh, really focus on him. He's, he's the truth. He's good. And what about like in the NBA guys that 
you feel like you can kind of pattern your game after? Uh, a lot of people say it's Sean Livingston. A lot of people. Um, just the way he, he's a tall point guard, uh, distributes the ball, athletic. Um, who else? A lot of people say just because of the way I pass the ball, like a baby Magic Johnson. So that's really, uh, that's really cool that people say that. Great stuff, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.